an unsettling discovery. Approximately, this massive celestial body renowned astrophysicist Brian Cox has issued a grave warning leading to the looming query. Are we approximately to witness a catastrophic supernova explosion that should completely modify the night sky? Permits delve into this phenomenon inside the sizable tapestry of the cosmos, where stars are born, live out their lives, and in the end, die in magnificent displays. One star has lately captured the interest and concern of astronomers and the general public alike. This star is Betelgeuse, a crimson fantastic large of immense size and age prominently located within the constellation Orion. Its wonderful reddish hue and variable brightness have lengthy interested observers, but recent trends have intensified interest on this celestial massive. As we discover Betelgeuse's nature, we find ourselves on the threshold of a probably monumental occasion in its lifestyle cycle. However, what do these adjustments in Betelgeuse mean? Could we be witnessing the prelude to a cosmic spectacle of unimaginable importance? Betelgeuse, approximately 764 instances larger than our Sun, is a stellar massive. Its giant size is nearly beyond human comprehension. Consider a star so full size that if it had been to update our Sun, its surface could extend beyond Mars' orbit, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This large length isn't always just a testimony to Betelgeuse's bodily attributes, but also signifies its degree inside the stellar life cycle. As a red fantastic massive, Betelgeuse is inside the twilight of its existence, a phase characterized by expansion and cooling after a life spent fusing hydrogen into helium in its center. However, how antique is Betelgeuse? This superstar, believed to be around 8 to 85 million years antique, is rather younger in human terms but historical inside the context of stellar lifetimes. Its present pink fantastic giant section is the fruits of hundreds of thousands of years of stellar evolution, marked via dramatic modifications and techniques that have transformed it from a hot blue superstar to the purple giant we see these days. The life cycle of stars like Betelgeuse is a tale of transformation driven by the relentless forces of nuclear fusion and gravity. Betelgeuse's one-of-a-kind hue is another hallmark of its current degree. The pink color consequences from its distinctly cooler surface temperature compared to stars like our Sun. While the solar's floor temperature is about 5,500 kelvins, Betelgeuse's cooler surface registers temperatures around 3,500 kelvin allowing it to emit mild at wavelengths that supply it a purple look. However, this coloration isn't just a visual trait. It gives insights into the celeb's physical circumstance and the procedures happening inside its significant gaseous expanse. Adding to Betelgeuse's mystique is its historical shade trade. Historical Roman and Chinese language records suggest that around 2,000 years ago, Betelgeuse appeared yellow. It was best in the 99th century that Arabic pupils first described it as crimson. This coloration shift over human history isn't only a component within the annals of astronomy, but also a clue to the celebrity's evolutionary route. The variable brightness of Betelgeuse is every other intriguing aspect. It is a semi-variable superstar, meaning its light periodically waxes and wanes, a function dance of luminosity that has involved astronomers and sky watchers for centuries. Typically, Betelgeuse undergoes a 400-day cycle along with a longer cycle that stretches about five years. These cycles had been documented as far back as the 36th century by using Sir John Herschel and probably even earlier in Aboriginal oral traditions. What makes Betelgeuse virtually enigmatic isn't just its converting brightness, however, also its irregularity. Unlike many stars that follow a predictable sample, Betelgeuse occasionally deviates from its rhythmic dimming and brightening hinting at complex and much less good strategies happening within its giant form. In a latest groundbreaking revelation, Betelgeuse captured the attention of astronomers and stargazers worldwide with an unexpected and dramatic trade in its look now famously known as the fantastic dimming. In past due 2019, Betelgeuse, the crimson tremendous large and one of the brightest stars in the night sky placed prominently in the Orion constellation, started to dim mysteriously. This dimming became so extremely good that it began losing its brightness at an average price of 0.1 magnitudes in line with day, achieving its lowest factor in February 2020. Betelgeuse, normally visible to the naked eye even in regions with light pollution, became extraordinarily fainter, a trade that amateur observers may want to easily spot. However, 
monitoring beach's activities poses a challenge due to the time paradox. While we take a look at a celebrity like Beetlejuice, we're seeing it not because it exists inside the present however because it was in the past because of the time it takes for light to travel to us. In the case of Beetlejuice, which is about 725 light years away, the light we see nowadays left the celebrity almost seven centuries in the past. This time lag makes predicting and monitoring surprising modifications in a celeb's behavior tough, as we're essentially searching into its past. The dimming occasion of Betelgeuse highlighted the inherent problems in real-time astronomical observations and the limitations of our information while managing the vast cosmic scales and the time paradox they brought. This celestial drama of Betelgeuse changed into carefully determined by Andrea Dupree, accomplice director of the Middle for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her crew. They used the Hubble Area Telescope to take a look at the giant celebrity as a part of a three-year study on variations in its outer atmosphere. These observations provided a unique perception into the dynamics of a variable superstar like Betelgeuse, which expands and contracts, causing fluctuations in brightness. By analyzing Hubble spectra, the researchers measured the motion of cloth in Betelgeuse's outer environment, particularly that specialize in magnesium-2 traces, which suggest the star's atmospheric situations. These observations found out fabric shifting at speeds of approximately 200,000 miles per hour from the star's surface into its outer environment. This warm, dense material subsequently prolonged hundreds of thousands of miles from Betelgeuse and become the precursor to the dirt cloud that brought about the celeb's dimming. Pry and her team predicted that approximately two times the ordinary amount of fabric from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere was misplaced over the three months of the outburst. This mass loss changed into huge, specifically considering that Betelgeuse, like all stars, continuously loses mass, albeit at a rate some distance more than that of our sun. The size of this mass ejection and the following dimming spark discussions among astronomers about whether or not this event might be a precursor to a supernova explosion. Betelgeuse's proximity, approximately 725 mild years from Earth, adds to the anticipation as this type of explosion would be seen from Earth and provide a rare possibility to study a supernova up close. But the query remains, what does this dimming occasion mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a signal of an approaching supernova or sincerely a unique episode within the star's lengthy and complicated life? Several theories were proposed to give an explanation for this surprising alternate. One common concept suggested a phase within the supernova explosion procedure gaining traction because of the common notion that Betelgeuse is nearing the stop of its lifestyles. Another popular theory implicated dust, probably from the celebrity itself, obscuring our view. Betelgeuse, like other red fantastic giants, is thought to shed material, and this cloth could form a dense enough dust cloud to dim the celeb's light from our attitude. A third clarification taken into consideration adjustments in the celeb's photosphere, the visible floor layer that can have an effect on its apparent brightness. In-depth analysis using numerous observational strategies helped resolve this mystery. Spectroscopic studies indicated a drop in Beach's effective temperature, suggesting that the dimming may be due to a large dark spot on the star's surface. This theory becomes supported by the observation that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming, indicating vast modifications on its surface. Ultimately, the important thing to knowledge this unusual phenomenon came from Hubble Area Telescope observations revealing that Betelgeuse's dimming become maximum possibly resulting from a giant ejection of warm fabric into area. This cloth fashioned a dirt cloud that obscured a portion of the star's surface, effectively lowering the amount of mild reaching us from Betelgeuse. The dust cloud was notioned to originate from excellent hot plasma, which erupted from a massive convection cellular on the star's surface and then moved through its warm ecosystem to the chillier outer layers. As it cooled, it fashioned dirt grains, growing a cloud that obscured light from about a quarter of the superstar's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet mild spectroscopic observations, beginning in January 2019, were vital in constructing the timeline main as much as Betelgeuse's darkening. These observations captured symptoms of DSE heated material shifting via the star's atmosphere inside the months before the dimming. In December 2019, several space telescopes additionally referred to the celeb's diminishing brightness, particularly in its southern hemisphere. This fabric, initially brighter than the star's regular luminosity, subsequently formed a darkish cloud as it moved outward and cooled. 
The idea was that this outflowing fabric and resulting darkish cloud brought about the celeb's unexpected dimming. The size of this ejection became enormous, thrusting Betelgeuse into the astronomical spotlight. The star expelled and predicted 400 billion instances the mass commonly released in a widespread coronal mass ejection. This ejected fabric, believed to weigh several times as much as our moon, became sizable, not simplest for Betelgeuse however, also for our know-how of stellar mechanics. However, what does this kind of huge ejection of fabric mean for Betelgeuse and supernova theories in general? The implications for supernova theories are profound. The traditional understanding suggests that red awesome giants like Betelgeuse shed mass at a pretty steady pace earlier than their explosive end. However, the scale of this ejection challenges this perception, indicating a greater turbulent and probably unpredictable end-of-life segment for those stars. Could Betelgeuse be making ready for its grand finale? A fantastic supernova explosion inside the following few millennia? Latest studies speculate at the timing of such an occasion, suggesting it is able to be sooner than formerly concept, probably in only a few tens of years. Another essential thing of the Betelgeuse puzzle is the idea of a bow shock. As this huge celebrity movements through space at about 67,000 miles in line with our relative to its surrounding interstellar medium, it creates a bow shock, just like the wave fashioned through the bow of a transferring deliver. This phenomenon takes place as the star's outer layers interact with interstellar gases and dust, presenting a remarkable demonstration of the star's dynamic nature and its interplay with the cosmic environment. Analyzing this bow shock informs us about Bijou's modern-day country and contributes to our information of stellar evolution and mass loss processes. Bijou's recent conduct includes observations of its surface cooling and turning into less dense following the ejection occasion, leaving the celebrity in an unstable country even years later. Hydrodynamic simulations endorse a hyperlink between the star's convective sports, mass ejection, and subsequent pulsation mode switching. This ongoing instability raises questions on the internal procedures riding these adjustments and how they might evolve within the destiny. Furthermore, Bijou's observed mass loss V is drastically better than and many other stars, suggesting a complicated interaction of internal forces. The pulsation, partially answerable for this mass loss, is restrained through steady power dissipation through shock heating and mass ejection. These observations underscore the dynamic and particularly unpredictable nature of Bijou's life cycle, tough astronomers to reassess their models of stellar evolution. But with all these dramatic modifications, the question stays, is Betelgeuse at the verge of going supernova? Even as the timing of such an occasion stays unsure, the latest remarkable mass ejection has truly shifted the verbal exchange, hinting at a more forthcoming stop than formerly expected. Theories now grapple with the results of such large fabric loss and its impact on the celebrity stability and future. In the meantime, as the astronomical community closely observes Betelgeuse, every other cosmic occasion captures attention and provides a vivid comparative take a look at the supernova SN 2023. This amazing explosion took place in the galaxy Messier 101, called the Pinwheel Galaxy, located just 21 million light years away. Observed in might also 2023, SN 2023X isn't just some other supernova. It is the nearest one located in latest years, imparting a precious close-up view of a celeb's cataclysmic cease. The discovery of SN 2023X turned into an extensive astronomical success. Kai Toy, a novice astronomer, for his discoveries of Supern NOI, first noticed this hastily brightening speck on the outskirts of Messier 101 using a modest 23.5M telescope. Upon pronouncing his locate, the astronomical network sprang into action. Telescopes worldwide, from the ones on the Earth's surface to the orbiting Hubble Area Telescope, grew to become to seize the unfolding drama of this new child supernova. The following race to screen SN 2023X's mild curve presented important insights into the explosion's nature and the surroundings around the doom star. In the tumultuous month following its discovery, SN 2023X's conduct changed into meticulously recorded. The supernova surged from relative obscurity to superb height brightness inside just five days, then began a more sluggish decline, dimming with the aid of 0.3 magnitudes daily. Spectral analysis found out numerous shiny emission lines indicating the violent interaction among the increasing first-rate nova shock wave and the encompassing gasoline. 
What makes SN2023X especially interesting is the dense shell of gasoline enveloping it, drastically affecting the surprise waves get away from the star's middle. These situations could give an explanation for this dense circumstellar fabric. Either a robust steady wind had been losing material from the superstar earlier than the explosion, or the massive star experienced sporadic outbursts, ejecting cloth into area. In either case, it is estimated that the celebrity lost up to a sun mass of material inside the remaining one to two years of its life, indicating that its very last moments had been a ways from tranquil. Determining the progenitor of SN2023X has grown to be a prime attention of look at. Through numerous techniques and record sets, researchers have converged on a lick candidate, a red fantastic massive. By analyzing the details of SN2023X's explosion, consisting of its progenitor characteristics and the mechanisms leading to its very last detonation, astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution and supernova mechanics. These insights immediately inform our information of Beige's modern-day state and its potential course to supernova, offering a clearer photograph of what signals to search for and the way to interpret the big red giant's complex behaviors. Concerning Betelgeuse's capacity for a supernova, Research from Japan's Tohoku University suggests that Betelgeuse may presently be in the carbon-burning degree of its lifestyles, which generally precedes a star's demise. Hiroyuki, the study's lead researcher, suggests that the star's core may want to collapse a few tens of years after the carbon is exhausted. Conversely, researchers from Hungary's Konkali Observatory trust Betelgeuse is in an advanced helium-burning level. Despite no matter these differing perspectives, there may be a consensus that Betelgeuse is in all likelihood to be the next supernova within the Milky Way, even though this event won't occur for any other 100 years. Historically, observations of Supern NOI have furnished helpful insights into stellar deaths. The earliest show document of a supernova relationship lower back to 185 advert was discovered as a vibrant megastar that took about eight months to vanish from the sky. Since then, several vast Supern NOI have been recorded, along with SN1604, the brightest recorded star ever to appear in our nighttime sky, visible across numerous parts of the world, and SN1054, which resulted in the formation of the Crab Nebula and was visible in daytime for 23 days. The maximum current supernova observed within the Milky Way became SN1604, studied considerably by using Johannes Kepler. More currently, Supernova 1987A in the massive Magellanic Cloud was determined inside hours of its mild-attaining Earth marking the primary supernova detected through neutrino emission and found throughout every band of the electromagnetic spectrum. These observations have performed a critical position in growing successful fashions of supernova behavior and enhancing our know-how of their effect on star formation. Imagine if the night sky lit up with the radiant explosion of a celebrity, charming our gaze with cosmic fireworks. Picture the once-acquainted constellation of Orion, adorned with an unexpected blazing jewel, Betelgeuse, one in every of its prominent stars, converted right into a great supernova. Could this inspiring event have any effect on the planet? Betelgeuse's drawing close supernova is classified as a core collapse supernova, which occurs when massive stars exhaust their nuclear gasoline and may no longer guide their very own gravitational collapse. These supern NOI are many of the most active and cataclysmic activities inside the universe. While Betelgeuse in the end goes supernova, it will release as plenty electricity in a B counted of seconds as our solar will emit over its whole lifespan of billions of years. The electricity output from a supernova in most cases takes the form of electromagnetic radiation, which includes visible mild, X-rays, and gamma rays. However, the most on-the-spot and visible impact of a Betelgeuse supernova could be a stunning light show in our nighttime sky. The explosion might in short outshine the moon and could be visible even at some stage in the day. Imagine searching up at the daytime sky and witnessing a second, rather brilliant sun appear for some weeks or maybe months. The event might be a breathtaking celestial display, captivating astronomers and stargazers alike. But as captivating because the visible spectacle of a Betelgeuse supernova would be, its true significance lies in the medical opportunities it provides. Supern NOI, in particular those of massive stars like Betelgeuse, are cosmic laboratories that offer priceless insights into the essential workings of the universe. One of the immediately benefits of looking at a Betelgeuse supernova will be the possibility to witness the final stages of stellar evolution up close. 
When big stars like Betelgeuse explode, they distribute elements solid within their cores, together with heavy factors like iron, into space.